right guys so jumping back on the road i gotta put some uh grease on my fifth wheel and do a little pre-trip here i gotta pick up in aurora which is about 45 minutes from here and that is getting delivered to ogden utah so let's uh let's get this fifth wheel greased and do a quick pre-trip and head up to the shipper let's roll pick up some more grease. I got three of these grease uh, tubes for the grease gun. Now you can use a grease gun. That's what I use to grease my fifth wheel. You can buy quart size uh, grease containers and squeeze it on your fifth wheel. The reason I got a grease gun is I also grease the front end of my truck as well. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And I do this about once a week on the truck. Just make sure the fifth wheel is nice and greased up. It doesn't have to be pretty. Now you can get you know grease from the, the prime shop if you want. But whenever I'm on home time, I always get stuff at Walmart. I mean, it really, I guess it really doesn't matter where you go. See, now I'm out. All right, I got to replace the container that's in here. So I usually use this uh, Lucas Red and Tacky Grease, but the Walmart by my house didn't have that. They only had the Walmart brand, the Super Tech stuff, but I guess it really doesn't matter. <sighs> All right, here we go. Here we go. And then we just twist it on there nice and tight, like so. All right, there we go. Bam, 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 bam. Let's get it, get it, get it, get it. There we go. And I got the fifth wheel nice and greased up here. While I was on home time, when I went to Walmart, I picked me up some of this PB Blaster. This is really, really good. If you're going to be running on the tanker side, I definitely recommend it. Now, as you can see, I do have bottles of uh, bottles of WD-40, but I prefer the PB Blaster for threads and things like that. When you're using your in-transit heat, your hose are tied together, threaded together for months at a time without you using them. This is definitely gonna come in handy in the winter time now that winter's gonna be coming. Definitely recommend getting this. All right, I'll put this back up. I also got this at Walmart. It's like 33 or 35 bucks, something like that. I'm gonna add this to the engine oil to my truck. Let's get this hood popped and we'll check all the fluids on here. All right, let's pop her. Here we go. So as you can see, when they wash my truck, they sprayed, looks like they sprayed the, the engine off here a little bit. So Prime charged me 55 bucks, cleaned the outside of the truck, the engine, and as you can see, they cleaned the back of the frame, all the stuff back here, the catwalk, my hydraulic pumps. They spray, I mean, they didn't get every inch of it clean, but they sprayed it off pretty good. See here, my coolant level is good. My belt looks good. All the wires are connected here on my alternator. Everything looks good. All my steering components, my steer tire looks good. Our steering fluid reservoir looks good. My hoses look good. Hey, this is actually our this is full, so I won't need this. I'll have to put this back inside of my truck. Uh, but everything over here, yeah, it looks real good. You know, my steer tires are good. All my brakes, everything else down here looks good. All my steering components, all my hoses, everything's all connected. Nothing looks out of place. I'll just have to set this in here for now. My drive tires are good. I got my fifth wheel nice and greased up. I always add this uh, Lucas oil stabilizer. It is real thick like honey. Ooh, dun, dun, dun. Okay, there we go. Let that simmer down in there. I'm gonna probably put about half the bottle in here. That should be good enough. Yeah, this stuff's really, really thick like honey. Get that cap on there real nice. Everything looks good, so. Close the hood up. Everything looks good. I'm ready to hit this road. Gotta make this money. Make this money. Make this money. All right, let's roll. Grab some fuel. All right, so I'm over here at the Springfield terminal getting some fuel. One thing that I don't like about getting fuel at the Prime Yards is the weight. And I'm actually gonna be heading to Ogden, Utah. I love running out west because that's where the money's at. All right, looks like he is done fueling up. Alright, thanks buddy. Right you too, bud. $630. Don't work too hard, man. Oh, yeah. Alright, so it is time to roll. And look, just what I was talking about, about how getting in and out of here, the time. Look at all this, look at all these uh, reefer drivers. Like that is a long line to wait. And a lot of them are probably here just going to shut down for the day or maybe just even get fuel yeah that's why i i always come over here and when i come here i bobtail yeah bringing a trailer i mean if you you don't have a choice you got to bring a trailer you got to bring a trailer but like i said i'm glad to be on the tanker side let's go to aurora and i gotta find out which trailer i'm picking up i wasn't told what trailer's mine because they didn't have it loaded yet earlier today uh, my appointment was between one and three it's 251 right now and I'm not gonna get there for about an hour, 55 minutes to an hour, so. You know, I feel so super bougie because my like truck's all like super clean. Uh, I'm a clean person. I keep the inside of my truck clean. The main reason that I don't wash my truck all the time is because working on the inedible tanker side, a lot of the shippers and receivers that I go to is dirt and gravel lot. You're gonna get muddy. Your truck's always gonna be dusty. You're gonna deal with nasty flies all the time. Hey, I talked there, we'll be right back. 73 see you, brother. Have a good day out there. Oh, I got a little CB chatter going on. 
um, pulling up to Aurora, Missouri. If you're going to be running the inedible tanker yeah, side, let me turn this down. Man. Turn my CB radio off here real quick. If you're going to be running the inedible tanker side, when you're in Springfield, every time you get reloaded, you're going to be coming here to Aurora, Missouri. Either you're going to be picking up a preloaded trailer, which is nine out of ten times. If it's on a weekend, uh, your dispatcher will tell you to grab an empty, clean trailer and bring it up here, drop it, and wait. They didn't tell me I needed to bring a, a clean, empty up here, so I was told to bobtail up here. So we're going to pull up in here and I'm going to find out what trailer I'm going to begin hooked up to. I'm going to go in here and check in with these boys. And as you can see, you see the see the lot, how it's all dirt and gravel. All the lots are all dirt and gravel on the inedible tanker side. That is why I don't wash my truck that much. You see all this dust? Look at all this dust I'm picking up and I'm not even going fast. I'm going six miles an hour. I don't know what trailer I'm grabbing. Uh, it's going to Ogden, Utah. Which one? I don't know. They just, I was supposed to, I don't know. Oh, you got two? Okay. You wasn't the one that was talking to the other driver about bringing a trailer down? No, nobody told me to bring a trailer down. I was told to you bobtail. Don't have a trainee? No, I don't have a trainee. Hey, you got the days then. Yeah, I got, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, because I got a guy coming that we loaded one Wednesday. I got you. He was supposed to bring me an empty clean. Yeah, they after just. After he picked his trainee up, yeah, but it's already going to be too late that the tank load was already gone. So. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, mine was uh, between one and three, and I've been learning to not come early. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, <laughs> so I just, yeah, that's why I got here after after three to make sure that it was. Yeah, it's on 98.65. 9865? Yeah. All right, brother. All right, you take it easy, man. Right, 9865. With an MT in the front. Right here. Let's get hooked up to her. So now that I'm hooked up to the trailer, I always turn my lights on and my flashers on so we can hook up the electrical to the trailer. And we're going to do a trailer inspection on it. First, I'm going to get everything hooked up. Now that we got our air hoses and our electrical hookup, we want to supply air to the trailer. Our safety latch is in. Man, let's go find the paperwork for this bad boy. Tires over here look good. Look at more crappy welds. Jeez Louise. Hey, at least all my lights over here are working. My mud flaps look good. My tires look good. Here we go, right here. Some more paperwork. I am looking for the seal numbers. Uh, this is going to Ogden, Utah, which is my load. And I got seal number 4659666. So the last number is 666. Now I'm looking for 9665. So let's go to the top, 9665. You always want to make sure that your seals <coughs> match before you leave from the shipper. That would not be good. 9665 and 9665. So we are good. Okay, that's loose. I'll just tighten these by hand. I have a a wrench I could tighten those more or are those stripped is that because it's stripped out no I could tighten those later with the socket set I got a socket set <laughs> yeah don't take for take long for my truck to get dirty on the inedible side that's for sure Okay, everything looks good, ready to roll. So the next thing I do after I hook up to a trailer, now that I know my trailer number, I put it on my, my paperwork here. You're always gonna fill one of these out every time you do a load with Prime. So my trailer is MT9865. So I got all my paperwork. All right, so I'm at a rest area here in Wyoming, taking my 30 minute break. Uh, one thing I always recommend whenever you stop is always check your trailer just do a quick walk around I always check my uh, check my tires I would rather be at a rest area or a truck stop if I see a, a tire issue than forget to check it whenever I stop and be on the side of the road and be stuck waiting for somebody to come and replace a tire so every time I stop whether it's stop just to get a little bit of rest or to you know check my phone talk to the wife or daughter uh no matter if i just go to the bathroom real quick and i'm at a truck stop or i'm just getting something to eat or drink i always do a quick walk around before i hop back on the road and also if you're at a truck stop and you go inside always come out and make sure that your safety latch handle is in some people maybe want to play a joke and they might pull that if you don't check and you take off and your trailer hits the ground it's going to mess up some stuff so all right, so I'm pulling up to the uh, Salt Lake City, Utah Prime Terminal. It's Monday. My load doesn't deliver till uh, Wednesday morning, so I'm going to be taking a 34 here. Uh, anytime you come up to one of the Prime Terminals, doesn't matter if you're loaded, 
or if you're empty when you pull in they're going to inspect your trailer always make sure uh, turn on your headlights and your flashers whenever you pull into the bay they'll have you shut your truck off as well so we're going to find out right now pull away from the back side of the scale so everybody else from the scale driver okay gd other one we're going to find out if i did a proper uh, trailer inspection on this right now because they're about to inspect the trailer <laughs> Boss. Hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, is this one loaded or empty? I'm loaded. You need loaded. my, you need my, it? you need my key. Yeah, I'm keeping it. I was just coming here for some lunch. Uh, have you had any issues with your truck or trailer or anything? No. Well, I'll go walk around real quick. Okay. Stuff. All right, thank you. All right, no, thank sir. you, man. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Well, man. Thank you. So I, I must have done a proper trailer inspection because they are not. Uh, nothing needs to be repaired on it. So uh that's a good that's a good thing so yeah i'll be staying here uh doing my 34 hour reset and early monday or i'm sorry early wednesday morning i'll get this uh load delivered get washed out the same day and then get reloaded in spanish fork and then that load that load's paying me 5500 bucks uh and it's getting delivered to spencer by saturday so that gives me uh sunday monday tuesday wednesday four more days to run on the payroll not for this friday but next friday's check so it'll be one of my biggest checks hopefully uh, i'll have plenty of time to run thank you guys so much for checking out my video i'll be coming out with some uh, more videos uh, real soon i'm gonna be taking my 34 down here in salt lake city at the prime terminal Make sure to give me that thumbs up button, and if you haven't already, go ahead and smack that uh, subscribe button for me. Y'all be safe.